There are multiple approaches that you can use Google Maps API inside the Vue.js 3 project. In this lecture, you are going to learn how to show Google Maps on the browser using Google Maps JavaScript library via CDN format. Regardless of which approach you're going to be using, you will need to obtain a Google Maps API first by going to the Google Cloud Console website. I have created a separate video that teaches you how to obtain an API key. I'm going to link it in the description below in case you need it. As you can see, I have created a simple Vue.js 3 project opened up in the Visual Studio Code Editor. If you need to know how to get started with Vue.js 3 project, I also have a video link in the description below. Okay, the first step is to include Google Maps JavaScript file inside the index.html file. So go to the index.html file from the project navigator on the left inside the head tags, type starting and ending script tags and the source attribute. The value of the attribute is going to be Google Maps JavaScript file in a CDN URL format. HTTPS slash colon slash slash maps dot Google APIs dot com slash maps slash API slash JS question mark key equals, I'm going to put my API key, feel free to replace it with yours. Let's add the async keyword inside the starting script tag to make sure the script is not blocking the HTML rendering process on the browser. Okay, the second step is to create a div container where I want to show the Google Maps on the browser. As you know, the app.view file is the root view component that will be rendered on the browser when we run the app. So go to the app.view file and get rid of everything, add template tags with a single div element inside. Now add height and width to the div using inline style so that the map will be visible on the browser. Then add the ref attribute with the value map. The third step is to create a DOM reference to this element. For that, create a pair of script tags with the setup attribute. Inside the script tags, import the ref function that we need to create a reference to the map element. Then declare a constant called map and set its initial value to null using ref. Make sure the name of the constant matches the value of the ref attribute inside the div element. The fourth step is to show the Google Maps on the browser. I want to instantiate the map object on page load. In other ways, once the view component is mounted, in Vue.js 3 composition API, we can do that inside the onMounted function. So import the onMounted function from the view library in here, then invoke the function onMounted right below the import statement and pass the anonymous function and then create an instance of the Google Maps map object. So new space window dot Google dot maps dot map. M uppercase and pair of parentheses and semicolon. This map constructor takes two arguments. First one is the HTML element container that we want to show the map on. In this case, the map development. So map dot value. When we use the ref to create a variable, we would need to use the value property to get the value out of the variable. The second argument is going to be the JavaScript object with two main properties. The first one is the center property that determines the map center on the browser. The value of the center property is a JavaScript object with two properties, lat and long, short form for latitude and longitude. In my case, I choose Ottawa city to be center of my map. So I'm going to add the latitude and longitude values of it. You can find the geographical coordinates of your own city by doing a simple Google search. The second property is zoom with a value in my case 10. You can increase this number if you want the map to be zoomed out or reduce it to zoomed in. That's it run the app and there you have it. If you want to know how to do the same using view 3 Google map the NPM package inside your Vue.js project, 
check this video next. Or if you want to make a full view JS project using Google Maps API, check out my premium course link in the description as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lecture.